As we discussed last week, the benefits of mindfulness are many. Mindfulness and mindfulness-based practices can be used to treat stress, anxiety, depression. Uh, it can be used to treat addiction. It can help increase creativity and mental performance uh, and help increase our, our contentment, our happiness, and actually improve our immune systems. The three big benefits of mindfulness are living in the present, increased self-awareness and self-management, and mental replenishment. This week, we will focus on self-awareness and self-management. Now, self-awareness is a vital trait for librarians and, in fact, for all human beings, and it is one of the cornerstones of emotional intelligence. When we take the time to investigate our thoughts and from where they came, we begin to learn a lot about ourselves. We learn what energizes us, what scares us, and what makes us happy. Through our increased self-awareness, we come to understand that our reactions, thoughts, and fears, while they are a part of us, are not who we are and should not control our lives. Our thoughts, also, are not always true. We should notice and investigate them instead of becoming trapped by them. Now, this self-awareness leads to a better understanding of ourselves. A self-aware librarian understands values, motivations, strengths, and limitations. The self-awareness that comes from mindfulness allows us to align our actions with our values. And by being mindful of our actions and self-aware, we can make sure we live by our values and that our actions are in line with those values. Now, when those two things, our work and our values, are no longer in sync, we need to take the time to realign them. The self-awareness mindfulness produces also allows us to honestly reflect on the consequences of our actions. We must know if what we are doing is beneficial to the library and its community. Too often we get caught in the trap of constant change or innovation without taking the time to reflect on its effects on our library community. Mindful self-awareness helps us to know if our actions are, are, will bring a great good to our library. Now, mindfulness also leads to better emotional self-regulation. Too often we react to a situation instead of responding. Now this is not a difference in semantics, but a difference in mindset, thought, and action. Our reactions are habitual, but our responses are thoughtful and appropriate to the situation. When we are given bad news, our first inclination might be to react with anger. By being mindful, we can interrupt that initial reaction and give the situation the response it deserves. Now, sometimes we use habitual reactions for decision-making and communication. This could mean trotting out replies like, we don't have the money for that, or I'm too busy to try that, or this is not what a library is supposed to be. Now, these reactions require no thought, and we are on autopilot when we give them. While we might think this is saving us time, effort, or money, it might actually be costing us a lot more. By reacting instead of responding, we may miss out on exciting opportunities for our library or dismiss a great new idea offhand. Reactions can also damage our professional reputations. If we allow our mindlessness to create an angry scene, then others in the library will be less likely to approach us for fear of our anger. Self-regulation allows us to take a step back and look at a problem from a distance. What at first glance seemed insurmountable becomes very doable with a little distance and mindful thought. Mindfulness also increases our patience, composure, and grit, all of which are important traits for all of us, uh, librarians or not. Now, as you work your way through this week's readings and activities, take some time to think about how can you apply what you're learning to your day-to-day -day work and how you can use uh, self-awareness and self-regulation that comes from mindfulness to be a better librarian.